Hello everyone, my name is Phil, and uh, today I'll be talking about how to do bubs drop uh, using the new pause buffer technique that was introduced in the latest Celeste update. Um, I'll go into a little bit about what was changed, why that's helpful for this trick in particular, and uh, a couple of different methods to do it with, one that's really consistent and one that is faster but maybe a little bit more tricky. Um, I also have my input display on the screen, and I just want to point out that my uh, left bumper is going to be my pause button, and my X button is my jump button. Uh, you'll also see me press L2, which is my journal button, that, that gets rid of the menu when I'm paused so I can show things more clearly. Uh, and I'll be pressing R3, which is my load state button. You don't have to worry about L2 and R3, I just wanted to point that out to clear up any confusion. So, about the tech itself and what was changed, in the previous patch, in order to frame advance the game with pause buffering, uh, you needed to frame perfectly execute a repause. So you'd pause the game, unpause the game, and have a one frame window to execute a repause, uh, which would frame advance the game. However, uh, in the latest update, they introduced a six frame buffer window, which is about 0.1 seconds, which is actually quite lenient, as it turns out, if you're unfamiliar with frame timing, um, for repausing the game, which allows us to reliably advance the game frame by frame. We can do this by pausing the game unpausing the game, and within 0.1 seconds before the game starts moving again, we just have to press pause one more time. That will allow us to advance the game and do that very reliably. Um, we can use this to execute Bob's Drop more consistently uh, by using it to guarantee a one frame jump input. If you do not know, uh, Bob's Drop is a trick that requires a jump input that is released on one of two specific frames. We can guarantee that it gets released on one of these frames by using pause buffering, and I'll show you how. So I'm going to climb up through the transition, and right before Madeline starts moving in the next screen, I'm going to pause the game, which will guarantee the game stops on the very first frame of the next screen. So there we go. Madeline hasn't moved at all in this screen, but she will be able to move and do any kind of action uh, right after I unpause the game right from right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause the game, and before Madeline starts moving, just a little bit before they start moving, the timing is a little tricky to, to feel out, but it is very consistent and it is very lenient once you get the hang of it. I am going to press jump and pause. What this is going to do is it's going to advance the game by one frame and jump off the wall during that one frame. So as of the time that the game is repaused next, I'm going to have been jumping off the wall for exactly one frame. This is great because that's what we need. All we have to do at that point is release jump, then unpause the game, and fall back through the transition. Let me show you. So I think I got it. Yep, perfect. Then I just have to die in Death Warp uh, all the way over here. Of course, you can retry to make it faster, but uh, besides that, you've got it. It's, a, it's that simple. You pause the game before, right before the transition, and uh, you unpause and execute a jump and a repause to guarantee a one frame jump. And fall back there into the transition, retry, death warp, good to go. I mentioned another method at the beginning of this video, so I'll go ahead and explain exactly what that is now. This is a little bit faster as you do the whole trick in only one pause, but I found the timing to be a little bit harder to comprehend and kind of nail down. However, I'll show it off anyway. This trick uh, is to do it in one pause, so what you want to do is you want to buffer the jump and the pause from the transition. That way you get a one frame of a jump and a pause like right when the transition ends. Uh, let me see if I can show you how it's done. I think I got it. Yep, there we go. And I just retry and I'm good. As I said, that one can be a little bit trickier to get down, but I think it's worth trying, especially if you've already got the uh, other method down. And of course, both of these lose time to doing Bob's drop on buffer. Uh, you do lose time by pausing the game, but theoretically, for the sake of consistency, this is very worth it for many, many players. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this was informative enough. If you have any questions, uh, things I forgot to cover, let me know either on Discord, uh, which will be in the description, or in the YouTube comments. And uh, thank you so much for watching.